<laughs> Mrs. Garcia, dear colleagues, good afternoon. On behalf of the marketing department, today I'm going to present you our report regarding the membership loss issues. Here is the overview of today's presentation. In the first part, we are going to talk about the membership loss problem and the background. In the second part, we are going to talk about interviews and research findings. And in the third part, we are going to come up with some sort of recommendations to solve the problem and improve the situation. So, first let's begin with problem and background. Currently, the Spanish Chamber of Commerce has 134 member companies. And during the year 2012 and 2015, um, the Spanish Chamber of Commerce has a membership increase of 8% annually. However, during the same period, the membership loss problem is significant because we basically lost 3% annually of our current members. So, what are the reasons behind this membership loss problem? In order to find out the causes, the marketing department <coughs> conducted several interviews and research on this problem. In our interviews, we interviewed with uh, 71 current member companies and 13 former member companies. After analyzing the results of the interviews, um, we summarize the following four problems. The first problem is that 13 former, ch uh, former chamber companies uh, are all Chinese companies. And the second problem is that 71% uh, of them perceive decreasing influence of the Spanish Chamber of Commerce in the Canton Fair. And 63% 30, 30, uh, of them uh, believe that there is an update delay on the Chamber's official website. And lastly, 41% of them uh, claim that there is insufficient there are insufficient communication channels. So after our research, we believe that all these problems imply corresponding weaknesses. What are the weaknesses? The first weakness is that um, we have unequal membership rights. The second weakness is inadequate response to changing business environment. According to Professor Chison, this is a common weakness among um, current non-profit organizations. And the third weakness is insufficient chamber engagement. The insufficient chamber engagement is a severe problem for the Spanish Chamber of Commerce and clearly it needs improvements. And the fourth problem according to Mr. Rivas, is Chamber's representation reduction. So, what are we going to do about all these weaknesses? Here, comes, uh, here come four recommendations. The first recommendation is to reconsider the Spanish Chamber's organizational structure. For example, we can create more spaces for small Chinese companies' representatives so that they can have their own voice in the decision process. And therefore, they will, they will be uh, more enthusiastic in participating Chamber's events. The second recommendation is to improve online services during Canton Fair. Uh, as we all know, the technology is changing rapidly, so many uh, member companies are trying to participate in the Canton Fair online. So it's crucial for us to improve our online services and let them get what, them, what they want online. The third recommendation is to um, improve Chamber's engagement visibility by effectively communicating with our member companies. And the fourth recommendation is to create more communication channels, um, such as um, bi-weekly um, inter-chamber drinks and other member activities. Uh, in conclusion, um, a solid increasing member base will provide a good platform for all of our member companies so that they can strengthen their business, business they can um, intensify their connections with each other, and this in turn will benefit the Spanish Chamber of Commerce in the long run. And this is my presentation. Thank you.